four terraces on either side, and you should probably soon be seeing the invited guests stepping Atos out there. De DDO. Attention pour au moins une minute. The DDO, Laura, is going to be calling out the one minute mark. Top. H0 moins une minute. And here we are, we're down to the final 60 seconds. So, Salvatore's out there, and when we bring the cameras back into Jupiter, you can see the people here in the hall are getting up, making their way to see this daytime launch. It's quite a show when you see from here. You can see uh, Vega's path tonight will take us right over Jupiter. When she goes, uh, flies to the north, that's not the case. But the people here will get, a, get treated to lovely shots. One minute to go. Tw half a minute to go, I should say. You're watching Ariane Space's Vega, flight number four, launching IXV for the European Space Agency. You can watch it all on the internet. Final countdown coming up. You hear the DDO call out the numbers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top. Allumage P80. Décollage. La trajectoire est normale. Le pilotage est calme. Well, you saw Vega rise. You saw Vega rise like an arrow, surprisingly fast. If you're used to watching Ariane 5, four seconds I think it took before she uh, cleared the pad. Those of you familiar with Ariane know that the heavier launcher rises a lot uh, more slowly. She weighs five uh, over six times what Vega does. The DDO is saying that everything is normal on board, lifting off perfectly from French Guiana. Beginning the fourth mission in her young career. I can see from here the people, there's nobody left in the hall, they're all out on the terraces. They're snapping their cameras. Some are clapping as the Vega passes overhead. Acquisition de la télémesure lancer par la station navale lancer au large de la Guyane. Everything is okay on board. Salvatore, I imagine is snapping pictures. As soon as he comes in, we'll get his reaction. The first stage is burning now. La trajectoire est nominale. Tous les paramètres sont normaux. First stage weighs 97 tons. 88 tons of that are fuel. It's quite a heavy ratio. The first stage is produced near Rome at, at the Colifero, then delivered to the French Guiana propellant plant here, where it's loaded with fuel, and then transferred to the booster integration building. Coming up on separation of the first stage in just about three seconds, and you'll see that on the animation on the cartoon. P80. There, the DDO has called out right on time at 53 Allumage kilometers up, and at a minute and 53 seconds, you see the ignition of the second stage. You can see on the bottom La of the screen the altitude 62 kilometers, and our speed on the right just over two kilometers per second. The second stage, called the Zephyro 23, ignited right on time, again at 53 kilometers up. In about a minute, we'll have separation of the second stage. Then uh, 30 seconds after that, the fairing will be jettisoned. You'll get to see that. Everything is functioning flawlessly on board, as the DDO Laura Polonini says, uh, calls out the numbers. Then in about six minutes and a half into the flight, we'll see separation of the last solid stage. Well, Salvatore has returned. He's beaming. What did you see out there? Yes, Joshua, it was really, really fun. Yes, Joshua, it was really, really fantastic. A wonderful view, not many clouds. We could see it up to very high, very bright light of the engine and then the sound coming up after a few few seconds after seeing it uh, going up. Really exciting. What was the most impressive, the, the, the sight of the, the sound? The Light was really bright. I mean, the, 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 the P80, the first stage uh, uh, flame, uh, was really incredible. All right. Now that you're back, take a look at the upper right-hand corner of the screen. There's a curve there. You see uh, the cursor climbing up the path there as we have extinction of the second stage. What are we looking at on the upper Yes, right? what you're looking there is basically the uh, predicted trajectory, and the, uh, which is the, the, the curve there, and the dot which move is 
the actual current position. So it means that if you see the dot on the curve, everything is uh, nominal and as predicted. Because I think we have two flight paths superimposed one on the other. We have the optimal flight path, and with that is the actual. The I actual one, yes. yes. So as long as we're one on top of another, we're right where we should be. The DDO is just called so the ignition of the third question. stage, and there you saw the separation of the fairing revealing the reentry demonstrator to the elements. Yes, the fairing is normally used to protect uh, all the satellites from 